When it comes to extract ventilation, the code is fairly simple. NZS 4303 specifies 50 litres per second intermittent in kitchens, lowering to 12 litres per second when run continuously. This drops to 25 litres per second and 10 litres per second for the case of bathrooms. Ineffective extract ventilation can be a major contributor to indoor moisture problems, as occupants are unlikely to use it if they don't see it making a difference or if it is too noisy. Achieving this in practice may seem a simple task, but there are several factors that can influence the output of the fan you choose. A systematic approach should be taken to designing for your project to ensure that what the client gets is what they need. Let's look at a worked example for a bathroom extraction fan. The standard lists 10 litres per second continuous flow rate for this case, regardless of room size. In order to work this out, we'll need a few details. These are the length of any ducting required and the number of bends and also whether we are using rigid or flexible duct and the diameter. The final formula is quite simple. Just sum the pressure drops of all the components at your desired flow rate and make sure it is less than the static pressure from the fan curve at that same flow rate. To understand how much pressure drop we are dealing with, we can use plots like this. As you can see, for a particular flow rate, in this case 10 litres per second, we can look up the pressure drop of a metre of duct based on its diameter. So as you can see here, 100 millimeter duct is around 2 pascals per meter. This decreases for larger duct, i.e. 150 mm diameter is around 0.1 pascals per meter. These tables pluck out the resistances of duct work at the flow rates in G4 for the most common duct diameters. This is for rigid and flexible duct. Now that we know what pressure drops we are dealing with, let's look at fan performance. Most fans on the market will have a rated working pressure and associated pressure to flow performance curve. If we look at a few typical fan pressure flow graphs, we can now size our system. Let's look at the 100 millimeter fan first. Assuming we have eight meters of straight duct, this would mean around 16 pascals of pressure drop over its length. As you can see, this sits inside the curve, so we can hit our target flow, ignoring bends and grills at this stage. Now let's consider the 25 litre per second intermittent case with, with eight metre length this time. 25 litres per second is already beyond the maximum for this particular fan, so let's jump up a size to 125 millimetres. This gives us an allowable pressure drop for the duct of about 27 pascals. So we need to jump back to the table and see if 27 divided by 8 actually fits. Well it comes out at 3.4. As you can see, the duct pressure drop is around 2 pascals per metre, so this should work, again neglecting bends etc. So what about bends? For 125 millimetre duct, a 90 degree bend adds around 1.5 metres in effective length. So in this example, we would have to redo the sums for 11 metres of duct, uh, accounting for two 90 degree bends. So 27 over 11 equals 2.45. This is still above the, the two pascals that we had per metre of duct work, so that should still work okay. In practice, flexible ducting is not installed completely stretched, understandable given that under tension it will tend to pop off grills and motors over time. This graph gives an indication of how changes in how stretched a duct is impacts on its pressure drop. Assuming best case of the ducting only being extended to 90% of its maximum length, you can see from the plot here that the pressure drop needs to be multiplied by a factor of 2. This gets worse the less stretched it is i.e. a 70% length, it's a factor of 4. If we now multiply the ducting pressure drop by 2, this will give us 4 pascals per metre, which is well above the 2.45 we just worked out. In this case, it won't work to the flow required, so what are your options? We can go up a fan size if the 8 metre run is fixed, which will mean larger ducting. A simpler option that might not need any additional rework to provide enough room is to go to smoother ducting, for example PVC or galve. Let's try the larger fan of 150 millimetres. At 25 litres per second, we can cope with around about a 50 pascal pressure drop. Eight metres of duct plus four metres for the bends gives us a pressure drop of 12 times 0 0.5, which is six pascals. If we double this for 90% stretch, it is only 12, so well within the 50 pascals the fan can overcome. These here are just a few examples and you will need to adjust the parameters to suit the specifics of your project.